company. Today we're going to work on the art of saying no. Right there you probably get a little bit of nervousness, maybe you feel a little guilty, maybe you feel, oh, what will people think of me? I say who cares? This is why we're doing the video. The art of saying no. So let's set our intention as we work. We put one of two fingers in our belly button. We connect with our mother's energy, our father's energy. Those will always be our biological parents, not step parents, but our biological genetically encoded parents, their mothers and fathers. And we're gonna go one ten hundreds and maybe even thousands of generations back for clearing and releasing and letting go of any guilt, any shame, any bullying that people may do if you say no. Maybe you're afraid to be judged. Maybe you judge others. Let's stop. Let's give permission to yourself to say no if it's not working for you without all the emotions coming in. So as we set our intention, we take a breath deep down to our lower Dantian and we hold and we hold and we hold and then you do a really nice light gentle exhale very slow very long very exaggerated as i'm talking please keep breathing in holding and letting go we're going to set the intention today that whatever is in our genetic programming our cellular memory that if it's no longer for the highest good of our body, our mind, our spirit, and soul, we're willing to get rid of it. Whether it's hidden, whether it's buried, whether it's covered up, whether it's a belief, a perception, and a judgment, if it doesn't work for your body today, tomorrow, or in the future, then give permission through your breath to let it go. Some of the things we're clearing, you may not understand, but everyone has high self-committee members. I'm gonna ask, and I've already asked, they'd be of the highest vibration for your soul, for your healing, and for subconscious clarity. So as we breathe in, and maybe in our lifetime, we had a hard time saying no, let's breathe in a lot of love, and exhale a lot of forgiveness, not only to ourselves, but maybe people who pushed us, harassed us, judged us. Please breathe in again. Good, through the video, this is what you're going to keep doing is just breathing. Even if some of the things that I tell you don't resonate with you, trust, I've already doused and they are things that spirit source would like us to clear. So maybe you're afraid of conflict Maybe you learned from your mother, your father, maybe a church you went to, maybe friends that you have to avoid conflict at all costs because maybe it makes you anxious. Maybe it makes you fearful. Maybe you start feel, feeling really bad. Well, let's give our beautiful self permission. Breathe in as you breathe in. Let's do a lot of love and forgiveness, clearing all judgments. Go ahead and release. Let's breathe in again a lot of love, a lot of forgiveness, and a lot of inner conflict. Just let it hold, hold, and release. Let's clear fear, fear we might have had from our mothers and our fathers, maybe teachers, maybe um, people in the religious community. Let's clear it. We have the right to say no. I give your body permission to accept that you can't always say yes. You can't always be there for everybody. Sometimes you just need to be there for you and trust that it's so okay. Take a few breaths in. <sighs> Letting go, go of old beliefs and perceptions. Breathe in again. Letting go of the belief that you're a victim. You have to be kind, you have to be nice. Let's clear those thoughts now. It's always great to be nice and kind, but not at the expense of your own emotional health, your own physical health, your, your well-being. Sometimes people just give and give and give, and then their little body <laughs> becomes so empty. Let's breathe in a lot of compassion and love for ourselves and exhale a lot of forgiveness and understanding. So as you keep breathing, allow your, allow your body to keep releasing, letting go. If the word guilt or shame comes in, take a breath for that word, hold it and let it go. 
Now, maybe we have fear of repercussion, like maybe someone won't want to invite us somewhere. Maybe they're going to unfriend us. Well, that, sometimes that's part of growth. Let's go in and clear that deep-rooted fear. Maybe you just got it genetically encoded. Maybe it seeps in from other lifetimes, other other experiences. Let's give up. Let's go check those subconscious memory banks, those Akashic records, and clear all fear of repercussions that possibly someone will disown you, dislike you, talk bad about you. Let's breathe it in. A lot of love, a lot of understanding, a lot of compassion and releasing all the fear, all the anxiety, all the worry. Taking another beautiful breath in. Holding, holding, holding and letting go of all that fear, maybe all that trauma, all that tragedy. As I speak, keep breathing, keep releasing, keep letting go. Thank you. Maybe you're a people pleaser. Well, I think that's beautiful, but pretty soon, maybe mentally, emotionally, or physically, you start getting exhausted. We can't be a people pleaser forever. I want you to start learning the art of pleasing yourself, making sure that what you say is authentic from your heart, that it doesn't cause you any excess loss of sleep, any excess loss of worry or hardship. People pleasers, let's stop. Breathe in divine love for yourself <laughs> and exhale forgiveness. Breathe in a lot of kindness and love for yourself. Hold, hold, and remove the belief, the perceptions and judgments that you have to please everyone in order to be liked. Keep breathing that in, let that settle. Just let it settle. Good, good for you. I'm gonna ask your high self committee guides and angels, keep working on these programs, anything you find as they breathe in, hold and exhale out, that you remove all these patterns, behaviors and belief systems on their behalf for the highest good of their soul, for their mothers, their fathers, their ancestors, thank you. Maybe sometimes you have to avoid people because you have those people there that love to take advantage and you try to avoid them or maybe you make up an excuse why you can't help. I'm here to tell you, you, have, you don't have to explain anything. Let's clear the belief that you do not have the ability to say, no, I can't help you at this time, but thank you for asking. Let's clear all that deep-rooted guilt, that deep-rooted shame, and then let's let it go. Let's forgive those that keep over-asking. Let's take another breath in. And let's just ask your soul to be honest on a heart level with your mind. If you can't help, it's okay. I forgive you. I want you to learn to forgive yourself. There's no reason that you even have to, but somewhere in your mind and your body, you have a difficult time. But after this video, let's ask it stop. Let's ask that all programs that keep running, making you feel guilty, shameful, be released and cleared. Thank you, thank you. Keep breathing, my friends. Um, every time you say yes, is it pulling a lot of energy from you? Is it making you lose sleep? Is it making you difficult to live with? Maybe you criticize and critique yourself. Let's clear the belief that you have to say yes all the time. I want your body, your spirit, and your soul to understand. You don't always have to say yes. Spirit gives you permission to say no. Saying no with a lot of love, a lot of kindness, and a lot of sweetness. So there's no more guilt. Take a breath. Thank you. Thank you, body, for giving. Thank you, body, soul, and heart for allowing each and every one of these people watching the video to say I can't at this time, but thank you for asking. And with such compassion and kindness, removing all guilt, all remorse. Breathe that in. Wonderful. 
some of us are really concerned about what others are going to think about us, what they're going to say about us. But I'm going to tell you, my friend, a lot of people don't really care about you in the first place until you learn the art of caring about yourself learn the art of loving yourself, learning the art of appreciating yourself, and learning the art of respecting yourself, people will take advantage. So let's go ahead and breathe deep within. Hold. And anything trapped, stuck, traumatized within, let's let our guides and angels find it and release it. Maybe some of this comes from childhood. Maybe it was in the womb, days, weeks, months years into your lifetime where these programs set up. As you take that breath in, you hold, let's release, cleanse and clear any thoughts, feelings and emotions that cause you struggles, too much excessive thinking, too much critiquing and criticizing, not only, only yourself, but others. Take that breath. Thank you. And remember, when someone asks you to do something and you have a hard time saying no, I want you to stop thinking and believing you owe these big explanations. Let's forgive ourselves for the habits that we created, always explaining, always telling people why we can't or why we're not available. Let's clear that now. It has a lot to do with self-esteem, self-worth, maybe guilt, maybe shame, and maybe it's just such old energy you have no idea where it came from. Let's breathe in a lot of love. Release a lot of compassion and kindness for not only your heart, but your lungs, your body, your spirit, and your soul. Take more breaths in. Thank you. Let's establish at this moment healthy boundaries. As we take a breath in, let's give our body, our mind, our spirit, and soul permission to have healthy boundaries that make you feel supported by life happy, joyful, take a breath in, <sighs> clearing all fears related to healthy boundaries. Let's take that breath in and hold it. And when we exhale, let's go, let go of all those unhealthy boundaries and all the guilt associated with it. <sighs> Thank you. As you keep breathing in, we're going to clear more. Um, Let's clear any feelings that keep us unempowered. What we're going to breathe in self-empowerment. We're going to exhale fear. We're going to breathe in self-empowerment, excess fear. As you clear, as you breathe, as you release, as, as memories come, maybe thoughts and feelings, just keep breathing in. And as you exhale, any judgments, perceptions, just let them go. Breathe it in until you feel your body relaxed, happy, secure, and safe, and let go. And when you're ready, I say sit, let the video finish. And when it's time, pull your finger out of your belly button. If it is difficult to pull out, then your body's saying, hang on, let's just keep clearing a few more programs through the breath. Because some of the things I've cleared, you may have more programs. Your body knows what you have to get rid of. Just give it permission to keep healing. And if you need to watch this video again, just make sure you watch it again. You're open to healing. You're open to shifting. You're open to transforming any thoughts, feelings, and emotions that make you feel trapped and stuck. Thank you.